Good afternoon, it's Tuesday the 16th of June. I thought I would try and make another video just to bring you up to date with where we are, what's happening in terms of the opening of schools and also some of the things we're hoping to make possible for children who are at home. I'm acutely aware from comments made by some of the children as well as uh, making the mistake of watching one of the videos. I say uh a lot, so I'm gonna try not to do that, but I've already, this is already video number nine because I'm so aware of this. So let's see how we get on. Right, the school has had wider opening and we've introduced the idea of bubbles uh, of children that do not get mixed up. And we offered places in line with government advice to children early years, year one and year six. We were advised by the trust that once we had those full, we were not to offer any more out because we had made the offer um, a few weeks ago that we would send a second set of forms out. We've done that. I have to say that that is it now. We are full. Um, everyone who applied for a place before the cutoff got one, but we cannot offer any more places um, because in order to offer more places in reception, early years one and six, we can't then offer places uh, for children and key workers. Those bubbles or groups are getting quite full as well. Um, and we are getting some areas like Monday, some days like Mondays, which we are getting very, very tight on. But again, talk to us. If you are a key worker, have a letter to show this, then we will be able to help you as much as possible. Um, I have to say that uh, the government is saying that if uh, key worker places are needed, then we have to then start stop offering places to year six, then year one, and then the early years. And this is in line with the government guidance. So staff are working with those groups or those bubbles. Uh, we have children in from, uh, from early years one and six in from nine till 12, and then their rooms can be received a deep clean. Key workers are in from eight till about 3.15, 3.30. Um, we also have uh, teams working on the uh, home learning. Now we know there are some issues around um, uh, access to digital uh, learning. We know there are issues about printing. We also know that where there's more than one or two children in the house, then actually getting children online or having access to it's difficult. So some of the changes we're making. Um, our Be A Star blog is now being changed and that will be moved to weekly targeted live blogging sessions. Now we've trialed those with small numbers, they've worked really well. So you'll have the team of teachers who are working on the blogs, who one will lead one one it for one on it for reception year one. Then there'll be um one for key stage one, one for lower key stage two, and one for uh, upper key stage two. That may change, I may have got that wrong. But the idea is that the teachers will put out a stimulus and that'll be put through your home learning and it'll be put through Twitter and also on your home learning pack uh, and, and um, may well try and see if we can get it on parent pay. And that gives you the, the children something to think about. So if you've got a child who's in year three, they might look at the picture or the video and then all the children come on to uh, Purple Mashes to blog and write at the same time. One teacher will lead on it, the other teachers will help comment and support in their writing. It's a really exciting way of working uh, and something they've worked very hard to develop, so please look out for that. We will be offering uh, online Teams assemblies, which will, I suspect be normally myself or another member of senior leadership. Um, at present, that looks like it's going to be about half past ten on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday morning. That may change. You'll get a link sent out. Please do not share it on uh, social media. It'll go out on parent pay. And then also, uh, Miss Barton is working on Tuesday and Thursdays. She'll be doing some online challenges. Now, she's put them on the YouTube channel, but actually going to get everyone together, set the challenge, and then people will be able to tell her how, she, how they got on with the previous uh, two days ago uh, challenge. Uh, so that's something else we're introducing. We are aware uh, in terms of now that lockdown is easing slightly, we have the ability to send out packs. Now, when that will be, uh, I, I suspect it won't be next week. I suspect it will be week commencing the 29th of June. We will send out packs out to bring them out and deliver them to all houses. 
and then we are looking at seeing whether we can build something for the summer as well another pack to come out um the phone calls to home i know work very well and we are trying to see where we can uh, continue to do those but please be aware that some teachers are in school for significantly longer periods than they were with all all of the opening um in terms of um sports day miss barton is uh, looking um with a small team as to how whether we can do a virtual sports day what that will look like i um i don't know but i do know that we had the virtual mini olympics for year three four this week and if you haven't accessed that you can still do it um so we'll try and do that to bring uh, things together <coughs> excuse me um we are also looking for year six Again, don't know how we can do it, but we need to do find some way of marking the end of this year. Um, and I have to say that we've uh, had some funding from friends for that, which I'm incredibly grateful uh, for them uh, for providing. Some news will come on that. Miss Jakes and Mrs. Dowding will bring you information on that if you're in year six. And then obviously there's the nitty gritty in terms of next year, whose class your child will be in. What does it look like in September? We don't know, bluntly. Um, we are uh, getting guidance from government, a local authority, and as well as uh, professional associations for the National Association of Head Teachers are giving a lot of information to heads. So we will try and get more out to you, but we will get information on whose uh, class your child will be in and try and do those in the same way. Uh, reports, uh, they have been written with just uh, making sure that they refer in the right ways to a year that hasn't quite taken place and, and, and uh, reflect what will happen next year. And then I'm obviously uh, putting uh, comments on those. So you'll get an end of year report. In terms of attendance, the government said we won't be uh, looking at that. So uh, we won't be putting any um, comments out about attendance. And obviously there haven't been um, SATs um, in year two and year six, phonics screening check and then obviously um, the end of year assessment in reception. So it all looks and feels very different. Um, I would stress we're working so hard to try and make things better. We know we're talking to parents. We know that we've also noticed a drop off in the use of Purple Mash since half term and that's been reflected nationally. Um, we have looked at live uh, teaching of lessons um, nationally about 8% of schools are doing that including the private schools uh, so not a huge amount of doing it I think that looking towards the live blogging will work really well we will look to see whether we can do other bits but it's not something we are looking at present never say never but it's not something that we are currently looking at, at providing for many reasons and I'll quite happily I, I have got a, a, um, a document I've drawn up as to the the, the reasons why I don't think it's the right solution for us uh, uh, as a catchment area. Um, so thank you again for all your support. We know it is it is hard out there. Can I please again stress, um, in, in May, we uh, were able to support 311 adults and children through the food larder. We're getting support from local businesses for this. This is not food bank. We know food bank uh, is for those families who are really struggling to put any food on the table. But food larder is our way of showing our love to the community of local businesses uh, doing that. And also money's come in from uh, Martin Lewis, moneysavingexpert.com. Uh, we were lucky enough through Agape to get some funding um, so you can come and get 10 items a week that's not means tested we don't stand over you can take whatever you want um, but it's about just giving you that little bit of extra at such a difficult time so please come in and use that it's open it's in the nursery so you're not coming into school uh, but please do use that we're so proud to be able to help families and it's it, it's so many families have come in but if you haven't accessed that please do it it is there for you so I think I've got away without saying um too many times. I've probably said it lots. Um, and we will get more information out to you. But please do use the live blogging. There's some really super work taking place that there. And the writing they're getting out of it is fantastic. But lots more news to come. And as we tick up to 10 minutes, I'll stop there. Thank you ever so much. And please stay safe and look after yourselves.